Ladies and gents, welcome back. Dr. Bonnie Henry is trending this morning. If you don't know who Dr. Bonnie Henry is, she's the provincial health officer in British Columbia, and she's most known for being an alarmist when it came to masks, but not in the beginning, just when it was expedient politically. Now, she's trending because of her downplaying of, well, monkeypox. Let's have a look here. And this is according to Dr. Bonnie Henry, a senior public health official in Canada. Monkeypox is mild and the lesions are not painful. This is dangerously wrong. Either she's intentionally misleading or she's failed to follow the science. Now, these are her words. And let's have a listen. People who generally have very mild symptoms is what we're seeing here in BC and Canada. So they may have a little bit of a fever, feeling unwell for a couple of days, but then it, it is having these lesions. So they start off as a raised bump, a blister, um, and then they crust over and new skin develops. And that can take um, a week to two weeks. But some people are having very small numbers of these. So they have very mild illness and they have one or two or, or maybe uh, you know half a dozen lesions and not really recognized because they're not painful the way some types of uh, illusions are. Well, that doesn't sound so bad now, does it? Now, people taking to Twitter, I like this take. We've got Dean uh, Scorieco saying, BC's top health bureaucrat, Bonnie Henry, is getting in trouble on Twitter for daring to say that monkeypox isn't a societal crisis. The president was set with COVID and the left-wing nutters wanted to con continue into the next new thing. And that's really what it is, is a grift, right? So we have people on Twitter just losing it, losing it. Norman Spector here saying, Dr. Bonnie Henry, to have acknowledged that COVID was airborne would have been to acknowledge her fatal mistake in 2020, to have allowed the Vancouver Dental Conference to have gone ahead. Obviously not great with grammar, but he's definitely great with the grift and <laughs> saying that the, the world ended. Didn't you see that the world ended because that that dental conference went ahead that was already planned in the early stages of what was going on at the time? We have another grift here. Dana Parrish. Why do public health officials like Canada's Dr. Bonnie Henry lie to the public so much? Of course, citing the Wall Street Journal, of course, you know, a reputable source for, for your content here. Monkey, monkey pox patients report excruciating pain and lack of guidance as U.S. cases mount. Dozens and dozens of U.S. cases mount. Some people say there were declined testing before being hospitalized with pain and high fever for a short period of time in a what is, what is actually medically known as a, a mild case. <laughs> anyway, um, you wouldn't, uh, I mean, who would, who would have thought a, a disease that happens to be going through the gay community, you might see a few dramatic uh, cases here, a couple of drama queens maybe overplaying it. We have CBC since June been trying to hype this thing up. Monkeypox warnings went ignored and now the world must embrace for more outbreaks. Scientists. <laughs> so just some scientists said, um, yeah, we're just going to cite scientism. Uh, but yeah, there, there, there's here. The, you got to show the, the, the scary pictures, uh, which, of course, is actually a research team in late 2017 in the Congo, the Republic of Congo, during an outbreak of another strain. Apparently, it's not the same strain that's, of course, more scary pictures, scary pictures of mice. <laughs> but uh, I believe it was bubonic plague that they want to play this up to be. Uh, that, that would be what the mouse, mouse imagery is. And that's a, a thing that's always going to live with humans throughout history is that fear of mice because of disease. I put this out there. I'm not saying she's wrong, but I'm just saying watch her change her mind on this because you need to be afraid. And this is, well, of course, because we all know the Bonnie Henry. This is the Bonnie Henry that we all know and love. And, well, let's just have a listen. I've always supported wearing masks. I've never said don't wear them. I've always said wear them where it's appropriate. We don't recommend that people who are well wear them because it is not an effective way of protecting yourself. And we know that it actually can be irritating and people are more likely to touch their face um, when they have a mask on. And that can be a way of inoculating yourself. 
If I'm not sick, it's not effective. It's not something that when I'm out in public, it's going to protect me in any way. So we don't want people wearing it all day long, for example. We cannot rely on a mask because the mask is not what keeps us safe. And masks for long periods of time are not recommended by anybody um, in any situation. We're not wearing masks now. Would we be safer right now if we had masks on? Uh, no. You see, these are the things that we have learned. I've always supported wearing masks. Bob, I've never Bob, said don't Bob, wear them. Da, da, <laughs> so that's a, that is definitely a thing of beauty from Bonnie Henry. We have all kinds of uh, cases where... She said one thing at one point, said another thing because of the political expedience or maybe what she's been told from her top downs. Hey, drum this one up, uh, even though it doesn't actually go along with what's actually happening, <laughs> what's actually happening. So Bonnie Henry obviously saying, yeah, monkeypox is uh, people are hamming it up. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. If you catch it, that's got to suck. It's definitely got to suck. But it is a mild uh, thing where you'll have legions lesions of course we know that this is uh, going through the well let's just say communities of people who want to have promiscuous activities on the regular and uh, most people who don't engage in that kind of activity are probably not really worrying about this at any given time <laughs> so maybe maybe play it by ear what else has happened in bonnie's uh, recent history oh Freedom of Information documents released. Bonnie Henry's forced email dumps shows she knew bad things were happening from the... Oh, well, things happen. Things happen, and then we learn about them. But anyway, this is what's going on and why Bonnie Henry is trending this morning. So <laughs> anyway, have fun with that and uh, pass that around. Let other people know it. Please... Do what you can to share this video out. Hit that like button and it'll help uh, the algorithm pick it up and get it out there more. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. You'll find out when I go live, which I normally do every Friday. But I'm planning some extra streams coming up. Might be doing uh, something fun with a particular writer of a great, great book that was released in Canada. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep on trucking.